Today I'll talk about another problem with the 1.6 HDI engine, particularly those with higher mileage. The problem is related to the turbocharger, more specifically the o-ring on the turbocharger pipe. There's not much to discuss. We simply removed the old unit and installed the new one. That's all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye everyone. If we delve a little deeper into the details, you need a seal of a specific size and material because, for those who may not be aware, we're dealing with high temperatures here and a harsh environment, specifically engine oil. So let's start with the basics, what the problem is and what the risks are. On 1.6 HDI engines with 120 horsepower and high mileage nearing 200,000, it starts to leak where the pipe connects with the turbocharger. With substantial mileage or in severe cases, the leak tends to worsen. In unusual cases, this defect can transform your engine into something else. But this is more an exception than the rule. Personally, I haven't heard of any technical issues arising from the leakage of this unit, like something not working correctly. So the concern mainly lies in aesthetics. Think about it, say you're not aware of any of this, you go to purchase this car, open the hood and see this. Naturally, your reaction isn't going to be positive. Figuring out that there's nothing to worry about and everything is fine is something you certainly don't intend to do, same as the potential future buyer of your car. So, who's to blame here? We figured out what to do. First, we unscrew the only bolt with a size 10 head. Then carefully remove this yellow latch. To make things easier, it's better to shift it a little and carefully remove the entire hose. Nothing's complicated, everything's made of either plastic or rubber, so sudden movements are not advisable as they might break something. That very ring is effortlessly removed and replaced with a new one. Everything is as simple as can be. The dimensions of the original rubber band are 60mm in outer diameter and 4.5mm in thickness. Well, that's it. I bought a new ring measuring 60 by 50 millimeters with a thickness of 5 millimeters. It fits like a charm. I can't add anything more. But where did I buy it? I bought it in China on... You can find the link where I ordered it in the description. The only thing not to mess up, obviously, is the size. Also, don't make a mistake with the material from which this o-ring is made. Regular rubber won't do the job. You need oil resistant, as well as temperature resistant. If you haven't seen my video about how the engine heats up and to what temperatures, I recommend watching it. And yes, some of its parts, like the spoiler, which is very close to the turbine, are not ashamed to heat up to 150 degrees. Keep this in mind for a warm engine. I took a ring made of recycled rubber. According to the seller, it can withstand temperatures up to 200 degrees for a short period of time. Otherwise, well, I don't think you'll have any questions. You buy the correct rubber band, change everything, and you'll be content. The cost, if anyone's curious, is only a dollar and a half with delivery which is more expensive than the rubber band, something like that. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.